Hello fellow Unreal Engine games developers. Today in our continuing desert driving game series I'm going to show you how to change the vehicle handling so you can go from realistic physics to a more arcade feel. Let's get straight into it. Today we're going to look at the handling of the vehicle in our game. Currently we have a realistic sort of physics uh, simulation uh, but you might want to go for a more arcade view uh, or an arcade feel I should say where the car doesn't flip over so much or so easily and you've got uh, quicker responsiveness for turning. So I'm going to show you the factors that affect that. Uh, it's still going to be a physics based game. If you wanted to change it to a non-physics that would require quite a lot of effort. So uh, we're going to be working within the framework we've already cr created. So if you go to your vehicle variety pack blueprints and open up your pickup, uh, you go to the vehicle movement component and you'll see on the right, there are probably about a hundred different parameters that you can set here. Uh, you may have looked at this already and you can see that you've got uh, your wheel setups. Um, you've got, uh, if I go further down, You've got the mechanical setup for engine setup. You can set up differentials. You could even have it. We've got an automatic transmission at the moment. You could even have it so you have different gears. And I believe there are um, events for switching up and switching down gear. Um, so there's lots of things you can change here. But in my humble opinion, there's really three factors that largely affect the way that the vehicle handles. So let me just bring up a visual and I'll show you these three factors. So with our vehicle, um, effectively we want to um, amend the forces that I've shown on this visual in order to change the handling. So we have gravity acting in a downward, that's a downwards force, which keeps the vehicle pinned to the desert. We have the mass of the vehicle, which affects uh, how fast it accelerates. And then each tire has a friction value that determines how sticky it is to the ground. And that affects not only the forward movement to a certain degree, but largely the left and right uh, steering and how quickly it can steer left and right. Now, each of these things can be changed, but they all have an effect on the other. So, for example, if you change the friction, so you make it very sticky and you turn left or right quickly, you'll find you'll flip over very easily unless you increase the gravity to push the vehicle onto the ground. And similarly, if you lower the mass and make it very light without changing the gravity, you'll leap off the dunes and way up into the air and you'll probably um, flip over uh, when you're leaping over dunes. So really we have to address each of these in combination. Um, so our current setting at the moment is we have what I'm calling this realistic mode. The gravity is set up at the moment as minus 980 or minus 9.8 meters per meter squared, which is standard earth gravity. The friction value on the tires is a value of one. Um, it's just an arbitrary value, but the lower the value, the slipper the slippier and the larger the value of the stickier. And the mass is uh, 1,500 kilograms at the moment. So if we want to go for a more arcade view or a more arcade feel, we probably want to uh, lower the mass, increase the friction, and then adjust the gravity to make sure that it st st still sticks to the ground. So let's, have a, let's go back to Unreal Engine and have a look at those factors and where you find them. So first of all, let's look at the friction. Um, if you go back to the um, pickup folder, you'll see that there are some wheel uh, objects and this tire config. If you open up the tire config, you'll see that it has a friction scale, which is set to one at the moment. So for example, if I set this to zero, so no friction at all and save it, Let's go into play mode. Just make sure it's got a single player. Yep. So now you can see that it's just sliding around as though it's on ice. So if I try and drive and steer, I'm really not going anywhere. 
there. So if you were doing a, um, a, a vehicle on ice or a character on ice, a friction of zero would be perfect. Um, and in fact, you might want to use this to your advantage. Say you could have um, oil slicks as a hazard, and when you drive through them, you reduce the friction to near zero to make steering and handling diff more difficult until you actually get out of the oil slick. So anyway, just showing you here that uh, value of zero, there's no friction at all. So let's go the other way now and we'll make the friction scale two, so more sticky. And again, save that. And now let's go into play mode. And now what you'll notice is I can turn all oh, very easily, but it's very easy to flip the car. In fact, I'm surprised I haven't done it already. Actually, this is so that's pretty good at the moment. It's um, let's go up there. Interestingly, it was difficult to get up the hill, but we'll address that in a minute. Okay, so that's already feeling more arcade like. Um, but let's say I also want to make you see it's difficult to get up the hill here. So the combination of sort of gravity and mass are um, something we want to change as well. So let's have a look at changing the mass. So let's make it lighter again. That'll make it speedier and nippier and go for that arcade feel we're looking for. So leave the tire config and go back to our vehicle movement in our pickup. And if you um, near the top here in the vehicle setup, you've got a mass. So here's where we got our 1,500 kilos at the moment. So let's reduce that to 500. So it should now accelerate more quickly. Okay. And now let's go into play mode. And now it's very fast and very nippy. In fact, you know, that, that you might like it like this. But um, I found in playing that um, it was very easy to crash here. And what I'm going for in this arcade mode is really something that sticks to the ground as well as is nippy. So, of course, we need to adjust our third factor, which is gravity, in order to pin the vehicle to the ground as we corner and go over the dunes. So currently, if I show you before we do that, if we go over over the dunes not too bad it's not actually um, jumping as high as I thought it would for the mass but I still think we can adjust that so you might actually be happy with this uh, again it's a it's a sort of a trial and error thing but if you want to stick it slightly more to the ground for cornering then let's let's adjust the gravity so let's come out of here and go to your main project and your project settings because that's where gravity and physics are and drag that on screen if i search for gravity ah okay so i've currently got it set to um my high gravity so that's why it was sticking to the ground so you will have had minus 980 in yours in fact let's let's go back to that i was surprised at how sticky it was so that shows you why um why it was um sticking to the ground so much if we go back to our standard gravity of minus 980 and go into play mode head for a dune Yeah, so you can see how floaty it is going off the dunes, almost like it's airborne, and how easily it um, it flips over. But that was the original Earth's gravity with the light mass and the friction. So now let's go back to the project settings I wanted. So gravity. So I'm going to change that from minus 98 to minus 5,000. So I've really whacked it up five times. And now I have this fantastically zippy car. Can go turn left and right on a dime. 
hardly it will still flip over but it's much less likely to and if I go into play mode I should be able to zip between gates with no issue at all if I can see where they are I would get a sandstorm right at the start of the game but you can see from that you can see the handling it's just much zippier and you might prefer this as a game style so you can choose you could even potentially I have actually flipped over now you could, you could even potentially have a um, feature in your menu which switches between the realistic and the arcade mode and adjust those values accordingly so um, I'll leave it up to you to decide whether you want to do that or not um, so just going back to our visual we had this realistic mode here with um, earth gravity the correct mass and the correct friction so we were still drifting a bit from side to side and what we've done now is we've reduced the mass to make it more uh, nippy and accelerate quicker we've increased the friction so that we can turn left and right more quickly and then to counteract that so that we don't crash as much we've changed the gravity we've upped the gravity by five times to keep everything pinned to the ground so um, i hope you found it useful um, and stay tuned and we'll do another session in the next few days see you then bye for now